Hey guys, John here from Incomesh.com. In this tutorial, we're going to continue building out our Tutor LMS online learning platform. And specifically, we're going to now get the navigation to work uh, how we want it to for our students. We want to make sure they can find their courses and get to where they want to go. And if we go to our homepage here, if you've been following along, we're going to have our blog on our homepage here. And that's totally fine. We're going to have our blog th there as well. But I want to make sure that we have a menu to get to the courses we want to see. Because right now, the courses are a little bit hidden. I think if I search for tutor, because I put tutor into the name of the course, I'm still not able to find it. So let's go ahead and fix that in this tutorial. What I want to do is go into our dashboard. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a menu. So I'm going to come here to appearance and menus. There's multiple ways to do this, but this is the way I like to do it. And we're going to create our first menu. So we'll click create menu here and let's make sure we give it the name. We'll just call it main menu. This is what's going to be the navigation at the top of the screen and it allows us to quickly get to our courses. So we can see here, we can automatically add our pages. We want this to be in the primary location, but we need to add some content here, the pages. And as you notice, there's no page here that actually shows all of our course archives. And that's because that's hidden behind a Tutor LMS setting. So what I wanna do is come here to our settings and see what it is it needs us to do. So I'll come to Tutor LMS settings and underneath here, you've got a long list. We'll go through this throughout the, the course of learning this, plat, uh, this plugin. But the main one we wanna see here is under courses. We have the ability to set a course archive page. And this is gonna be that classic browsing page that you can uh, get all your courses. So we don't have a great page to use for this now. So what we want to do is go ahead and go to pages and add new. And you don't need to do any design at all on this page. We just simply want to call, uh, give it a title and publish it. So I'll go ahead and call this uh, course archives. And we'll hit publish. Bada bing, bada boom. And now we have what we need for setting up our archive page. I'll quickly refresh the settings panel for Tutor just to make sure that I can find that page I just created. I'll come back to course, come down here to course archives, and I'll hit save settings. So now if I view this page that I've just created, I'll see this is how the interface is going to look for my viewers when they get to that page. You can see we can uh, navigate topics, categories, uh, beginner levels, uh, they might be able to have a free and a premium toggle as well um, if I once I create our premium course. Uh, but you see it's a beautiful, I mean, very, very nice uh, layout here. So let's go ahead and head back to finish off this process. And we'll go to our menu area here. Let's just save it real fast and we'll refresh the page. And now you'll see we have the course archives as an option that we can add to our menu. Now, you might also want to add a, a link to their dashboard and a couple other things, but to keep this a very simple and clean and minimal, we'll just add the ability for them to get to their courses, and I'll show you why once we take a look at this site now. So now we can see we've got our uh, homepage, we've got the course archives, that when we click on it, it brings up all of our courses. We also have this guy, and this is the reason why we're keeping things minimal, because Tutor LMS gives you a ton of options directly here a ton of things already built in for your logged in students and if your students are not logged in or if the visitors on your site are not logged in the whole goal here is to get them logged in so uh, we want to keep this very clean very simple and let them browse the courses effectively so now that we have this we have a functioning website let's go ahead and test this and actually sign up for our first courses and before i do that i want to go ahead and take off the coming soon page because if I were to go to this website, not logged in, I won't be able to see anything. So if you're using Bluehost, they'll have this plugin built in automatically. All you have to do is say, launch your site, and you'll be ready to view it as a non-logged in user. So now let's go ahead and view our site in an incognito window, and here we go. So now this is what it's gonna look like for anybody new coming to your website. Um, I'm assuming you're going to have a, a set of blog posts on here to kind of bring traffic into your site, uh, but you'll also be able to quickly log over to the course archives. And here they can filter down to the different content on your site. And this is going to work automatically. So you can see that course was a beginner level course. So that will work perfectly. And there's two ways you can get started. One is if they want to go ahead and log in, they've got this beautiful little pop-up here. 
But if they want to just register, they've got a getting started button here as well, where they can create their account very easily. But let's say they don't want to do that either, and they want to come in and enroll in a course when they're not logged in. They'll see everything the same way we saw earlier, but under enroll now, they're, they're again, given that option to sign in or create their free account. So very easy, a nice experience, very easy for the users to grasp. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just create a free user account. I'll call this test for tutor and username test for tutor and email address and password. I'll just create an account. Registration is very easy. Uh, here's a little bit of, uh, I know they're gonna work this out, but it's kind of frustrating for right now. Once they've created their account, they've registered, I would expect it to be logged in, but they actually need to come down here and log in again. So let me hope I remember what my information was and I'll log in now. Okay, so now you're logged in and you can very easily go and click on the enroll now button and start the course. So very easy process overall. We now have the ability to navigate around the courses. I can see my profile, what I've enrolled in and everything works as you would expect. It. All right, that's it for this quick walkthrough. In the next video, we're also going to cover the student support process. So how do you answer questions from your students and how do you ensure your students are learning what they came to learn through the use of quizzes and a support forum?